are the raccoons and the skunks and the crows tearing up your grass? You've got grubs. Neutralon's president here in Ottawa, Tom Bourne, joins us now on CFRA. Good morning. Good morning, Steve. So what do you do about grubs? Well, we have a major scourge going on this year, Steve. The grubs are really, really bad. Uh, there's a couple of things that you can do about them, but uh, you know, with nematodes, et cetera, now with no pesticides for the last three or four years, uh, the, this situation is getting worse and worse and worse. You, you were saying that the, the nematodes are one of the solutions, but is there not a problem while it's still cool putting the nematodes down that you're basically wasting your time? Yeah, there's a certain times of the year that you can apply. Uh, and there's actually a couple of different types of beetles that you're looking for. The beetle that is causing the problems right now is the European chafer. European chafer, one-year life cycle. It is only, you're only able to treat it later on in the season, say in the, the August, September, October area, because that's the only time the nematodes will work on them. If you put the nematodes down now with the soil temperatures only at about 6 degrees, uh, the nematodes won't move around. They have to be at least 10 degrees in the soil. And the soil's not going to warm up to 10 degrees for another uh, couple weeks at least. And by that time, these uh, larvae have, have pupated and they've flown out of the soil and they're, uh, they're uh, beetles. You're underscoring that uh, you, you really want a professional company because there's a few things they have to do to put down the nematodes of action. Well, there is, and, and uh, there's, there's many things that, that the homeowner can try and do and, get, and probably can get pretty good results with it, but there's things that the professional companies like ourselves that we do. For instance, when, when we bring our nematodes in, we bring them in in, in, uh, in freezer packs, basically, and when we mix up our trucks, we're putting them under a microscope to make sure, the batches, to make sure that they're, uh, the nematodes are alive and really doing their thing. We use a surfactant, which is a soap-like material, to make sure that the grub, or the, the nematode gets down to where the grubs are in the soil as opposed to sitting on on, on the leaf. And the other thing we do is we, we don't apply when there's high UV. We make sure that we're going out very early in the morning or late in the afternoon, evening to make sure that we get maximum um, use of the nematode when it is the right time. But again, now is not the right time because the nematodes can't possibly work. They just can't function in such cool temperatures. So what do you do? Do you seed or do you sod knowing that those grubs are still there? Yes, seeding and sodding have been the two things that, pe- that people have liked to do in, uh, all over the years. Uh, we've introduced a new, pr- a new product, which is called hydro seeding. Uh, we basically paint your lawn with a, a mulch-type substance, which has the, the right type of Ottawa blend seed. And again, it's seed that works here in Ottawa. And you'll get a nice, all these areas can be repaired and look very nice in, uh, in about 30 days. Uh, and it's half the price of sodding, a little more than seeding, but half the price of sodding, and works every time and works twice as fast. Well, they're there, that's for sure. In our backyard, we're seeing more crows than we've ever seen before. Is that one of the signs? Well, it's the crows, it's the skunks, and it's the raccoons, uh-huh. and they're all coming out of hibernation, uh, and they're, they're, they're hungry, and they're very, very hungry, and there's nothing for them to eat. So where the, what they're doing is smelling the grubs in your lawn, and if you had grubs even last year, they'll remember that they're there this year, and they'll go back and just check. If they're not there, they'll go away, but in the meantime, they've torn up your lawn. But if they find them, then they're really going to tear up your lawn and cause thousands of dollars of damage on the typical lawn. Okay, Tom, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you, Steve. President and